These are the latest and greatest Samsung flagship earbuds, the Galaxy Buds Pro. And these should look familiar to you by now. These are Apple's flagship earbuds, one of the best out there, the AirPod Pros. Now, the purpose of this video is very simple and straightforward. What we wanna know is which earbuds are actually better. Like overall, when it comes to everything, from the way they fit in your ears, to the way they look in your ears, to their transparency mode, to of course their noise canceling modes as well, to all the extra features, from the ones that try to be helpful and practical, to the ones that are just fun and cool, and even just normal ones that we've come to accept by now. Basically, we're gonna find out which ones have the better combination of all the qualities we're looking for when it comes to earbuds. Yeah, so let's not waste any time, okay? Let's start with the most important part, the way they sound. Okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, on three, okay? One, two, When it comes to sound quality, none of them are bad here. The AirPod Pro sound pretty good. They have good bass, good mids, punchy mids actually. You know, stuff like voices and vocals always sound clear. And like it's a bit louder than the bass. Like you hear the rapping or the singing more than you hear the beat drops with hip hop and R&B songs. Actually, just most songs in general these days. And the highs also sound good as well. I've used the AirPods for over a year now and I definitely have no problems enjoying my music with them. They have pretty good sound quality for earbuds. How do they compare against the Galaxy Bud Pros though? Well, Samsung has been talking about all the advanced technological things that have implemented in the Bud Pros that's supposed to redefine the, the sound, sound experience, experience to transport you to your inner and outer, and outer world. world. And um, I can't say I feel transported to any other world per se, but they definitely sound good. The way I describe it is that they sound very similar to the AirPod Pros, but they have a noticeable amount more bass. Like bass drops and beats in general just hit harder with the Bud Pros. If you listen closely though, you could hear that they also have a bit less punchy mids, but when you switch back and forth and back and forth between them, The main thing you're gonna notice is the bass difference. The Galaxy Bud Pros just sound like a party in your ears, and the AirPod Pros sound like, um, well, a less fun party with less speakers and, and bass. Like, I would definitely rather go to the Galaxy Bud Pros party. Don't worry, if I go, I'll put my mask on though, cause I'm responsible. <laughs> but basically, with this alone, I'll already say that the Galaxy Buds are better when it comes to sound quality. I definitely enjoy listening to my music more with them. People are different though, and our ears like different things. And that's also why I'd say the Bud Pros are better. Because if by any chance you don't like how things sound in the AirPod Pros, that's tough bro. You're gonna have to live with it. If you don't like the way things sound on the Galaxy Bud Pros though, it doesn't have to stay that way. You can always go into the Galaxy Wearable app and pick from a couple presets. So if for some weird reason, you don't like bass like I do, well, first of all, I really don't get you. But since that's your preference, you can just pick the treble boost preset and it's gonna boost the upper mids and the highs a little bit and it'll reduce the bass a decent amount. I wouldn't do this though, cause, cause that'll just be letting the great bass and the Bud Pros go to waste. I also don't use the bass boost preset too, cause with that one, it doesn't really increase the bass much, but it reduces the mids and highs a decent amount. Too much for my liking personally. So I always just leave mine in the normal preset setting. It sounds more than good enough for me. But yeah, basically, long story short, I know Samsung was making a big deal about the sound quality of the Bud Pros, and I still think they were exaggerating, just like with most ads. But nah, they really did something though, cause I can't even lie, the Galaxy Bud Pros are the best sounding earbuds I've tested. In fact, it's outrageous to say it, but they sound better than some flagship over ear headphones that I've tested. So yeah, they're definitely better than the AirPod Pros. But that's when we're talking about sound quality though. But what about when no sound is playing at all, and the only sound is coming from outside? How do they compare when it comes to noise cancelling? Well, the AirPods do a pretty good job when it comes to noise cancelling. They have pretty good noise cancelling in general and very good noise cancelling for earbuds. They're one of the best earbuds out there when it comes to noise cancelling. But noise cancelling on the Galaxy Bud Pros is actually even better. They cancel even more noise when compared to the AirPod Pros. It doesn't cancel a crazy amount more noise though. I'll say things sound about 15, 14% quieter with the Galaxy Buds. Actually, maybe closer to 10%. Whatever, just know the difference is noticeable when you're listening to it. Actually, just hear it for yourself, okay? It's actually not too big a difference, but the Galaxy Bud Pros are better when it comes to noise cancelling. Now, I don't know if I can say they're the best earbuds I've tried when it comes to noise cancelling though, because there's some earbuds I know that are very good at noise cancelling as well, but I don't have them on me at the moment to test head-to-head -head against the Bud Pros. But basically, just know that the AirPod Pros are very good when it comes to noise cancelling. The Galaxy Bud Pros are better though. Not by too much though. Sure. 
But what if you wanted to hear the noise? Why'd you want to do that? I mean, for many reasons, like um, to hear your announcements, to have a conversation, uh, like if you're on the subway, you want to take the train, and it's about to leave or something. They never use the subway. Basically, though. I'm talking about how the airbuds do when it comes to transparency. Uh, as far as transparency goes, the AirPod Pros are very good. Actually, they're basically perfect when it comes to transparency. I'm telling you, the way things sound with your actual biological ears is basically the way things sound with the AirPods in transparency mode. They're the best earbuds or headphones or anything I've tried when it comes to transparency. Now, as far as transparency with the Galaxy Buds, they're pretty good as well. You'll be able to hear your surroundings almost like you would with your actual ears. That's right, it's not exactly perfect transparency like it is with the AirPod Pros, but then again, it's also not like the fake or rather digital transparency mode that you're gonna find on some other earbuds or headphones, like the Sony XM3s, for example. With headphones and earbuds like these, you will be able to hear your surroundings, but it's pretty obvious that it's using some microphones to just play the sound from your surroundings into your ear. With the Galaxy Bud Pros, though, it's not like that at all. They definitely sound more natural and less microphone-y, your surroundings aren't going to sound completely, completely natural. And things will also sound a tiny, tiny bit less loud. And basically, they won't exactly match your ears like the AirPod Pros do. The AirPod Pros are just the best out there when it comes to transparency. With that being said, though, the Bud Pros do have something up its sleeve when it comes to transparency. Something even the AirPod Pros don't have. See, everything I said about the transparency of the ambient mode of the Bud Pros is true, yes. But you go into the Galaxy Wearable app and you see that what I was actually talking about specifically was the ambient mode in the medium setting. That's right, Samsung lets you choose between different levels of ambient sound. So if the ambient sounds you're hearing just don't sound loud enough for you, you could crank it up a notch to the high setting, which actually sounds slightly louder than your actual ears would, but it also does add slightly more of that less natural microphone feel, and you can sort of tell it's using the microphones to boost the audio. If you want to take things even further though, then you can go to the extra high setting, and honestly, this one is overkill really, because when you have it on, everything would just be really, really loud. I said everything would just be really, really loud. I'm talking a good amount louder than your, oh, sorry about that. Uh, I'm talking a good amount louder than your ears. In fact, I would have said they're a cause for concern. Because if normal stuff, because if normal stuff is sounding this loud, then imagine what actual loud stuff could do to your ears. Oh yeah, that's better. So like I was saying, you actually don't have to worry about loud stuff damaging your ears though. Because it turns out Samsung already thought about this and they've already implemented a solution to the potential problem. Basically, if an earbud detects a sound that thinks it's too loud, like a very loud clap for example, it won't let the sound go through. Instead, it'll reduce the volume of all the sounds coming in through the earbud and it's keep it that way until the loud sound has stopped. You want to listen closely so you can really hear it because it can be pretty quick at times, you know. It depends on how long the loud sound lasts. I found it works pretty well, but all in all, I just think the extra high setting is too much. I could actually see it being a great feature and a major help to people to have some hearing problems. I might find it difficult to hear some things loudly enough. But for me, and for most people, I think we should just stick to the medium setting. It is a little less loud than your actual ears, like a very small amount, but I found it's the most natural setting and it comes the closest to sounding like your actual ears. The closest, closest you can get to your actual ears though is with the AirPod Pros. They don't sound like they're using microphones at all. And basically, like I said, they're just the best when it comes to transparency. Now, as far as those microphones are concerned, though, this is how they sound. The audio you're listening to right now was recorded on the AirPod Pros. And this audio right here is being recorded on the Galaxy Bud Pros. Now, how do they sound to you? Do they sound good? Do they sound better than the AirPod Pros? Or do the AirPod Pros sound better than the Galaxy Bud Pros? So when it comes to these microphone tests and comparisons or whatever, like you're always the judge, really. Yes, exactly. You can hear how they sound for yourself. So let me know which one sounds better in the comment section below, okay? And you don't really have to do all that, though. Just take note of whichever you prefer. And besides, with these microphones, comparisons, and earbuds, like, who really cares, right? Like, microphones are good enough these days. Maybe some earbuds came out with some studio-grade, like, almost studio-grade quality microphones. Maybe then we have something to talk about. But right now, I just wouldn't say, like, it's really that important. There are many more things you should worry about. It is up to you, though. I mean, it's your money. It's your call. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, of course. It's always your choice. But... I think there are more things to worry about, things that are more important than the microphones. Some things like the design of the earbuds themselves. Design-wise, well, obviously they look different. It's not really hard to tell them apart. The AirPods have the all-white plastic design with some black accents that you should be used to seeing by now. They also have all their controls on the stem, so you access them by pressing the stem in some way. You probably already know this by now. You know, this isn't anything new at this point. 
Now, the Galaxy Bud Pros, on the other hand, are something new. Well, at least at the time I'm shooting this video. They came out just a couple weeks ago. They don't look so different from earbuds we're used to seeing, though. They have this circular-ish design that has a matte finish on the inside, like the side that goes in your ear, and then a glossy, mirror-like finish on the outside, aka the touchpad. And yes, they use a touchpad for all their controls, so you're going to have to tap it to play or pause your music or do whatever else. Now, as far as aesthetics though, as you can see, mine's all black basically. That's a color I like, but you can pick from other colors as well if you'd rather buy something else. Oh, and I put links in the description for you with updated prices for both the Galaxy Buds and the AirPods. So if you want to buy them or check out their price at the moment you're watching this video, just go to this video's description and check out the links, okay? Now, as for color options with the AirPod Pros, well, you can get this white version with black accents that I've already shown you, or you can get um, this other white version that I've already shown you. And if you don't like this one either, then you can get this other version. Um, I don't know if you've seen it before. This one's called the Panda. You know, you get it because it's it's white and then it has some black accents as well. Okay, guys, I'm just I'm messing with you. Okay, you probably know this by now, but the AirPods come in one color and one color only. And you're looking at it. You've been looking at it throughout the video. If you really want to, you could customize it through a third party company though. And the AirPods came out a long time ago. So by now, there are a lot of different skins and just a lot of different stuff that third party companies can do for you. But if you want to buy it outright, this is the only color you can get. Design is a subjective thing though, for the most part. So I'm sure by now you know which of the AirBuds you think looks better. And I'm talking how they look here in hand, but also how they look in ear as well. Okay, since we're here and we have them in the ears now, let's talk about fit, comfort, and how well the AirBuds just make your life easy and just get out of your way. How well they just work. This is a category I like to call seamlessness, and it's a very important category. It's literally about how it would be to live with these AirBuds. So which is more seamless, the AirPod Pros or the Galaxy Bud Pros? Well, starting with fit, the AirPod Pros do a very good job. They fit very well with no hassles or whatever. I mean, you can see for yourself, as long as I put them in properly, I could shake my head on camera for an abnormal amount of time and I could use an unnecessary amount of energy. It would just take too long for them to get loose and then fall out, you know? As long as I'm not doing anything too hectic, like playing intense football, for instance, they're just not gonna fall out of my ears. Now, of course, I'm using the right size tips for my ears though. Apple gives you three sets of tips to choose from for the best fit. And Samsung actually does the same thing as well. Three sets of tips. And if you want the best fit possible with the AirPod Pros, which you do, then you want to make sure you pick the tips that fit you the best. Same thing goes for the Galaxy Bud Pros and basically all other earbuds that give you this option. Fit is very, very important when it comes to wireless earbuds. So what's the fit like on the Galaxy Bud Pros though? Well, it's pretty good for the most part, like when you're sitting still and you're not moving much, the fit is pretty great actually. Even when you're making some minor movements or doing some light workouts, not intense cardio or anything, I'm talking jogging, lifting weights, even some light running, fit still stays pretty good, they won't be falling out of your ears. It's when things get intense and you start moving a lot. That's when the fit in the Bud Pros start to get bad. If you're gonna be moving a hell of a lot, unless you adjust the Bud Pros in your ears continuously, they're gonna get looser and looser and looser until they just fall out of your ears. Add the fact that the AirPods just fit more minimally in your ears and it's easier to forget you're wearing them and it's clear that fit is better with the AirPod Pros. The fit on the Galaxy Buds isn't bad though, don't get me wrong, okay? Again, it's pretty good for the most part when you're not doing intense stuff, but the AirPod Pros do have the better fit. They're both pretty comfortable though, when doing everything really, even laying down on the bed with your weight directly on them. You can really forget that you have either of them on. If I had to pick though, I'd say the AirPods are more comfortable, just because you basically notice them less when they're in your ears, and it's easier to just forget you have them on after you've used them for a while. The Galaxy Bud Pros on the other hand, are still pretty good with this too, and I wouldn't call them bulky by any means, but they definitely feel bulkier than the AirPod Pros, and when they're in your ears, they don't have as much of a relaxed fit. Speaking of, another thing I've noticed, and you'll notice with these guys as well, is that it's a little more of a hassle putting on the Galaxy Bud Pros. Like, it's not a big deal or anything, but watch, this is how fast I can put them in my ears properly and have them feel secure. Take note, okay? I've been using them for quite a while now, and I'm pretty used to putting them on by now, so this is how it should be for you when you're used to it as well. If we do the same thing with the AirPods though, on the other hand, this is how fast I can put them on. Just like that. Now, it's really not a big deal, I mean, it's a couple seconds, but even taking speed out of the equation, things are just easier and more hassle-free with the AirPod Pros. They're the best AirPods out there when it comes to seamlessness. With the Galaxy Bud Pros, they're pretty good and they're pretty seamless, but they're just not on the level of the AirPods. 
It even goes to the earbud controls. Tapping the bud pros to play and pause your music works pretty well. Even double tapping to go to the next song works well for the most part. But the triple tapping experience for going to the previous song is inconsistent. A lot of the time it registers as a double tap to go to the next song instead of going to the previous song. And basically I find to have it work consistently I have to tap in a sort of mechanical manner, kind of like I'm bending to the will of my earbuds and changing my behavior to match it instead of the other way around. With the AirPod Pros though on the other hand, it's not like this at all. The squeezing mechanic is actually very consistent and I can triple tap, sorry, I mean triple squeeze all I want. It just works. So yeah, basically to summarize the seamless experience on both, I'll say the Galaxy Bud Pros give you a pretty seamless experience and I hope I haven't given you the impression that they don't because they really do give you a seamless experience. But you put them or any other pair of AirBuds even against the AirPod Pros and they just won't be up to par. The AirPod Pros are just the most seamless AirBuds out there. But then again, there is a bit of a caveat to this as well. Because the experience with the AirPod Pros is better with Apple devices as opposed to other devices like Android for example. Basically, if you're using Apple and iOS devices, you're going to get access to some extra features that people with other devices don't have access to. For example, with Apple devices, your music will be playing and you take the AirPods off and it'll pause your music for you. You put it back on and it'll continue playing the music. Now this one's not that big a deal I would say, but it's pretty cool. But like I said, it's for Apple devices only though. The Galaxy Bud Pros on the other hand, don't do the automatic play pause thing. Like sure, if you take it off after a bit when it detects it's not in your ears, it will pause the music, but that's about it. When you put it back on, it won't automatically play your music for you. Like I said though, this isn't an extra feature that's so useful though, cause it's just not a big deal to manually continue playing the music again. It's a cool feature to have though. Now one feature that the Bud Pros have that can be pretty useful is the Find My Earbuds feature. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's supposed to help you find your earbuds when they're missing. It might not be what you think though, because your mind might have gone to something like GPS tracking, like something like Find My iPhone, but it's not like that at all. I mean, I wish it was, that'd be great, but that's not what it is. The way it works is, if you're lucky enough to have your earbuds somewhere close to you and still connected to Bluetooth, you just start the Find My Earbuds feature and the buds themselves will start making this bird tweeting type sound. And you're gonna need to follow the sound down to find your earbuds. Now this implementation doesn't give me a lot of assurance and confidence that I'd find my earbuds if they went missing, but it is better than nothing. Now this feature is also available in the AirPods as well. Actually, it's better on the AirPods. It's technically not a feature made just for the AirPods. It's just part of the Apple's Find My like iPhone, Find My iPad, Find My Apple device. It's that feature. With Apple's implementation, you can also make it play a sound, even if it's not connected actually. You can set it to play a sound the next time it comes on. But what's really nice about the AirPods way, compared to the Galaxy Buds way, is that it also shows you the GPS location. And if it's not powered on or connected to a device at the moment, it'll show you the last location and registered. This implementation definitely gives me more assurance than the Galaxy Bud Pro's implementation. It's definitely a nice feature to have. Now another nice feature to have that's also more interesting is spatial audio. Now I already have a whole video of how it works on the AirPod Pros, but it's mainly for movies and it's basically 3D sound. It's pretty cool. It only works with Apple devices though. Actually, not even. It only works with the current iPhones and iPads. It doesn't work with MacBooks, at least not right now. Now the Galaxy Bud Pros on the other hand also have a feature just like this. They call theirs 360 audio. And theirs is also limited to certain devices, specifically Galaxy devices with One UI 3.1 or higher. I've actually not been able to test this though, because I don't have one of those devices right now. So I don't know exactly how it stacks up against the AirPods, but the feature is there. Now another extra feature which both AirBuds have and is basically standard by now is water resistance. They both have an IPX7 rating and they both work fine after having lots of water on them. Well, for the most part. I've actually ran into some issues lately, but we'll talk about that later. Right now, let's talk about what's going to be needed to use all those extra features and to do basically anything on the AirBuds at all. I'm talking battery life. The AirPod Pros last about 4-5 to five hours on a full charge, and the Galaxy Bud Pros on the other hand last about 4-5 to five hours on a full charge. They have very similar battery life. The biggest difference between them though when it comes to battery life is with the cases. They're similarly sized, the AirPods case is wider or longer depending on how you look at it, and the Galaxy Bud Pro's case has more of a squarish design and it's also a bit thicker as well. But the main difference in relation to battery though is that the Galaxy Bud's case can only charge the Bud Pro's from empty to full three times. Actually, not even. The case's battery would die before it completely finishes the third charge. The AirPods case on the other hand can charge the AirPods from empty to full completely about five times and it'll still have a little bit of battery left. This means you'll have to charge the Galaxy Buds case more often. It's not that big a deal in the real world though, especially because it doesn't take long for either of them to charge back up, with USB-C for the Bud Pro's case and a lightning cable for the AirPods case. But yeah, you have to not forget to charge the Bud Pro's case, more than you'll have to with the AirPods case. 
A positive thing for both though, is that they both support wireless charging. And wireless charging is the future, so that's good. But now, let's talk about the things that are not so good with these earbuds. Now, I've already told you about the Galaxy Bud Pros and the stuff I don't really like with them. Like the fit, it's not the best when you're trying to do cardio or just moving too much. And also the touchpad, especially with triple tapping, I found it's a little hit or miss. I'll say those are the worst things about the Galaxy Bud Pros. Now, those things aren't so bad, but everything else about the Galaxy Bud Pros is just pretty good. Well, not battery life. Um, but yeah, those are the worst things about them, I'd say. Now, as far as the worst things about the AirPod Pros, um, the thing with AirPod Pros is that if when they're working perfectly, I'll say that the worst thing about them is the fact that you can't reduce or increase the volume like with the earbuds. You can't just do it from here. I'll say those are the worst things about them when they're working perfectly. But the thing with them is that if you just go online, just go to Reddit right now, you're going to see a lot of people complaining about many things, noise canceling, degrading battery life, and just a lot of problems. Now, I haven't had those problems though. I've had a couple problems if you watch my previous videos, minor problems, but they've always come and gone. Right now, I only have one problem. And it actually started happening a little while ago after I put the AirPods in water for like a thousand time, right? Basically, transparency isn't perfect on my left earbud. My right earbud is fine. Like right now I'm hearing perfectly from here, but here it sounds like there's just something blocking it. Like not water or anything. I already got all the water out of it. You know, you're supposed to just suck it out after you uh, basically, transparency on the left earbud for me isn't perfect anymore. The right is perfect, but the left isn't. The left sounds more like the Galaxy Bud Pros in the medium setting. It's a little less loud than my ears. I can just hear like there's something in the way. Now, I don't know if this is going to go away or not, but I'll keep you posted, so don't worry, okay? And yeah, I think that's about it. I believe we talked about everything we need to talk about. So now, which are the better earbuds? Well, the Galaxy Buds are easily better when it comes to sound quality. And sound quality is very important. But then if you start moving too much, they'll end up on the floor. And it's kind of hard to appreciate better sound quality from the floor, you know, at least for me. I don't know about you. The AirPods will stay in your ears better, and you can do more workouts with them. They also have better transparency too. Damn, but every single second you're not working out or making intense movements, you know you're getting worse sound quality. And also, transparency on the Galaxy Buds is still very good, and it even has that extra high transparency mode as a bonus. But we're never going to use that mode though, you know. Unless we have some hearing problems though, and it also does have better noise cancelling too. But the AirPods aren't bad when it comes to noise cancelling as well, and they also have better battery life. Well no, actually they both have the same amount of battery life, more or less. But the AirPods case will give you more charge at the end of the day. And if you want to watch movies, the AirPods have spatial audio, which is really nice. But the Galaxy Bud Pros have 360 audio though, but I haven't tested it yet. Nah, but I bet it's pretty nice too. But will it be better than spatial audio though? Well, I mean... Uh, I mean, because spatial aspect. Okay, no, 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 no. This isn't how we should do this, okay? We want to know which is actually better. Like, not on paper or anything, but which is actually, actually better. Like, in the real world. And now, I think I know exactly how to decide that. It all comes down to this scenario. It's morning. I get out of bed. I go dress up. And I'm ready to leave my apartment for the day. I know. Before I forget, I got to grab some earbuds before I go. But just one pair. The AirPod Pros or the Galaxy Bud Pros. Okay, now time is ticking and I do have places to be, so I gotta pick fast. And most importantly, I gotta pick right. I have to make the decision my ears will be happy with. And with that in mind, it honestly isn't that hard of a decision at all. But wait, wait, wait. there's still just one question though. Am I going to the gym or am I going to work out? No, I am not. Okay, cool. Well, with that being said, then I'll have to put the AirPods away and go with the Galaxy Bud Pros. See, the AirPods are great overall, and that's why I've used them as my primary AirBuds for over a year now. But ever since the Galaxy Bud Pros came into my life, I've had to make the decision of which AirBuds to wear between both of them many, many times, off camera. And as long as I'm not working out and doing some cardio, I just know the Galaxy Bud Pros will be the better choice for my ears. The fit will be good since I'm not working out. And most importantly, the sound quality will be great. The bass is gonna hit for sure. Honestly, almost like flagship headphones. It's crazy. You add the superior noise canceling to the mix as well. And the Galaxy Bud Pros, in spite of their shortcomings, because we talked about those in this video as well, but despite that, and with all the things that really matter in mind as a package, the Galaxy Bud Pros are sort of just better AirPod Pros. And it's because of that, plus the extra things they have going for them, that I'd say they're the best of the best AirPods out right now, and that's also why they're the winner today. Now time is still ticking, and I still do have places to be, so I gotta head out soon, okay? But what do you think? 
Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Do you have any thoughts or personal experiences with these devices you'd like to share? Are there any videos you want to see that you'd like me to make? Or just let me know in the comment section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe and turn on notifications so I get to show you more videos like these. Don't forget to stay safe and thank you for watching. to happen eventually. Cool. All right, that's that. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. It's about time now. Okay.